heard a song. And it changed my life. I was going down for the last time. But because I met that person, I met that miracle named Kashan. I met the miracle named Matt. I met the miracle named Michelle. I met a miracle. And it gave me strength to carry on one more time. Yeah. You're the miracle. You're the miracle. You're the miracle. The miracle is within you, my brother. The miracle is within you, my sister. Can we appropriate that and walk in the strength of the miracle no matter what? Yeah, we want God to do something. Can I let you know today that he already has? Hallelujah. Can I let you know today he already has? He created a miracle called you. As we step into this next realm of healing, don't miss the fact of who you are. What he made in you. What he designed and created. And no matter what you're going through, he created, he created a miracle named you. Change can begin to happen right there where we're at. I am not minimizing in any way, shape, or form the healing power and virtue of the Lord Jesus Christ. But if we don't rise where we're at right now, we'll miss the very strength of who we can be for someone else. I decree healing in this room, right now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing in every physical ailment right now in the name of Jesus. I decree healed relationships right now in the name of Jesus. I decree that those who you're struggling with and that you're praying for that are not here, I decree them healed now in the name of Jesus. Can we agree on that? We decree healed, healed, healed. But if we walk out of here and all we were looking for was some type of physical change, we'll miss the fact of who we really are. You are the miracle. You are the miracle. Bob, Dave, Dave, you pray that. Can you take your time? You are the miracle. I can't say that enough today. If you want to hear another sermon on other areas of divine healing, we can do that. But if you miss what God has already done in you, then we're going to miss everything else. You are a blessing to the kingdom of God. He wants you to walk in that divine strength. Lord, I ask you right now in Jesus' name. that you would appropriate the power of your healing in this room right now. But Father, much more than that, we want to thank you for the miracle that you created in each person sitting here under the sound of my voice. Lord, I ask that you would allow them for the opportunity to realize in their own even in the midst of their struggle, that they are a miracle. Yeah. Let us appropriate the healing that is already in us and help other people find Christ. Thank you for it now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Would you give God a hand of praise?
a coincidence right now that this is a day where we share the Lord's Supper. There's an old song that we used to sing. The song simply said, would you be free from your burdens of sin? There's power in the blood. There's power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. I don't, we don't believe in issues of transubstantiation. But we also don't believe that this is just a religious act. There's power in walking in the obedience of the Lord Jesus. And I speak even now for, for a supernatural move to take place over these elements. Not from some mystical, goofy thing that somebody might think or consider, but that through obedience of the cross, through the moment that Jesus spent with those disciples, including Jesus, Judas, there was a power that was, that was spoken and released until Jesus Christ had his died. So we do this in remembrance, and we do this to receive that miracle wonder power. Receive the bread. 